Well, if you've ever been challenged with getting a press release out to the media, you know that there can be obstacles that come with that. So Jeff Brady, whose career includes working in the news, he's going to highlight a new formula and approach for this in his book, ah, Brand Economics. There Welcome, it is. Jeff. Hey, Hillary. Yay. Right. Yeah. So glad you're right. here. You know, I, I got to tell you, I'm just so excited to be over here on this fancy new furniture. Well, yes, because you host the Texas yes. Daily, which I'm sure yes. everyone at home this watches. Is, I like but this these is, digs. This is here. a different set. We've been at, at the at the legacy area of our set, you know, right. kind of that's been around, and so we've seen all the new furniture and all the excitement with the the partnership with D Magazine, and it looks great. Well, good. And I'm you glad guys like have done it. a great job. Well, thank you. Well, yeah. and you know, part of the challenges that we've had with starting new shows is getting the word out and letting people know that we're here. And you've written an entire book about how to do just that. This is is the book. It's called Brand Economics, and I couldn't be more excited. It has been so much fun to kind of spread the word about spreading the word. word. Right, right. Well, I was flipping through it and, and reading, <laughs> and one of my favorite things that you say is, don't wait for Matt Lauer. He isn't coming. Yeah. Do it yourself. Uh, you know, we love Matt Lauer. No offense, yes, Matt. We do. He's a great guy, top of the uh, top of the food chain, but he's probably not coming to do the story about your nonprofit, your uh, company, your service. And, you know, if you're the boss, say you have a company or a nonprofit, you're very eager to get the word out and attract the media, mm -hmm. you're not the best advocate. Right. You're not that your chief marketing officer is not the best person to speak about your company. You're not the, the best person is that satisfied customer who came to your company or ah. came to your church or your nonprofit and had a wonderful experience and now they're going to launch your brand echo. And tell everybody. So you've got some tips yeah. for us that we can go through. And the first one is, you know, it's a super clutter, cluttered media landscape. Yes. So Have one you of your noticed tips, that? Yes. It I is mean, cluttered out there. You're inundated with right. it. So what's bio media and by invitation only? Yeah. So think about it. So we have erected all of these barriers to keep media out, basically. Mm -hmm. So you TiVo programs, perhaps, or you videotape yes. them to watch them later. I do. So you have a filter. So you don't watch just whatever shows up on your television. You select what you're going to watch. Mm -hmm. You have a um, caller ID. You have a spam filter for your email. So we're keeping media out. So what I mean by bio media, that stands for by invitation only. So the media that you accept into your life is the stuff that you've decided you want to partake in. You want to watch or listen to or view or read Great and point. you're selecting it. Mm -hmm. So the question for people who have a brand message is how do I get to that level? How do I become uh, invited to the table, so to speak, so that people want to hear what I have to say. Right, and it's not filtered out. Yeah. Well, so you can cut through the clutter. Your next tip is with a great story. Cut through the clutter with a great story because you we're inundated in data, right? Mm -hmm. You've got people pitching stuff to you and numbers and information, and you're trying to retain it all, and you don't really have room for more data. None of us need more data, but right. if I tell you I've got a great story, to tell you, mm -hmm. you're going to be all over it, and you're going to. There's a lean-in factor. We all have time for a great story, mm -hmm. so that is part of the secret. You've got to make your brand message a story that people can't help but tell. Well, so your next tip, though, is to flip the story. What do you yeah, mean by yeah. that? Most people tell the wrong story <laughs> because there's all this chest beating going on, and I want to brag about my TV show, or I want to brag about my company or my product. It's great, and you need to buy it. Right. That's the wrong story to tell. Really? It's okay. It's the antithesis. Instead, it should be a story about the customer and they had a, a, a situation or an issue or a great experience that was improved because of the encounter with your product, your service, your company. So it's the customer's story that needs to be told, not yours. Huh, that's yeah. a very interesting right? way to I wouldn't have thought about that. I, I right, like that. Right. I've already learned something. Uh -huh. Well, so fix the problem is one yeah, of your next. Yeah. Fix, you have to fix the problem. Uh, fun, stories could be funny. They could be entertaining. They could be off color. Uh, they could be historic. Mm -hmm. But what people are yearning for right now is solve my problem now, right. today. I, I'm typing away at Google because I have a problem at night, and I'm up in my pajamas trying to figure out how I can solve this problem. It may be a trip I'm planning. It may be a new car. It could be what Whatever. So the story that's being told, the information out there, has to solve that customer's problem. Because it's what matters to me. What matters what to me? What helps me? It's media, <laughs> after all. Oh, I like yeah, that. Yeah, keep that well, in mind. Those are great tips, and there's a whole mm -hmm. bunch more in here. So. There's a lot more, and I really appreciate the time to talk about the book. It was so much fun to write. Well, and I'm going to make yeah. you stick around and, okay. and hang out with me for the end of the show. You can do that. But you can go to Jeff Brady's website at jeffbradyspeaks.com to get more information about the book if you'd like a copy of Brand Economics. Mm -hmm. Plus, you can pick it up at Amazon.com yes. as well. Thank you.